So in today's video, we are talking about how to open a bank account here in Dominican Republic as a foreigner. I did a, previously I did a video talking about opening a bank account, but it was a while back. So today I wanna to, uh, talk about it again. For some people they may be uh, the first time on my channel, or some people they don't know how to open a bank account. And I also have some people that have sent email and comment on my videos asking how to open a bank account. And this time, I want to talk about it because I have a client in Harabacoa that I actually went with them to open a bank account at the bank. So we are going to talk about today about something that we went to personally. You know, people usually ask me, what is the best bank for you to open a bank account here? And we have many different banks. I usually uh, tell people that I like Reservas is my favorite and that is my bank. The only problem that I find, uh, the people find with reservas is the, uh, I don't know if you knew, but this is the government bank. So everybody that receives a pension or anything or work for the government get paid through this bank. For that reason, that bank has so many people every day, and especially on the, at, the end, at the end of the month, like the 25th, is when the government paid uh, the employees. So by that time, all of the bank reserva is full. But any given day, you can find it full. So for that reason, a lot of people don't like bank reservas, but I love it. Another bank that I recommend usually is Popular and BHD Leon. Those are good bank and many people have the same bank and it's easy for people to do business with those banks. However, there are other banks here that you can open a bank account like Banco Santa Cruz, Scotia Bank, which I have a bank with Scotia Bank as a business too. So it's many different banks here where you can open a bank account. All those banks that have their own criteria or their own requirements that you need to ask if you decide to open a bank account with them. So, but the bank that we are talking about today is Bank Reservas. So that was one of the banks that I recommended to them because even though that bank usually have a lot of people, but that is one of the banks they have, the requirements are very easy. It's very easy to go and open a bank account with them. So for that reason, I recommend it. The only things that they have to take with them over there is two form of IDs, including their passport, a, a statement from the bank showing where the money coming from or what they get their money, and also the money to open the bank account. That is literally the only things that they need from them. They also brought some of the things like the tax record and things like that, but they didn't require that. So the process was a little, a little long. It wasn't that short. It was about three hours with the representative. At first, we just sat over there. He asked a few questions like where they live, where they were from, where they were born, what they do for a living, if they were retired, questions like that, because it's, it is a like a form that you need to fill out online because that is what they're gonna use to check all your records. Because what they do is they take all your information, your passport information, all the information that you give, and then fill out that form, and they have to wait until they approve it. Or it usually they know in a while if they have to wait longer or if they were approved right away. So that is usually why other banks tell you in five, seven business days, you can, they call you. But with bank reservas, you can wait over there and see. Or they say, no, we would need more time. We will call you when it's ready. So for them, we sat over there for about three, three hours, uh, filling out all the form and doing all the things that he needed to do. And then after that, we left. We left and they told them that they would give in a call when everything was approved for them to open the bank account. And in fact, they called the same day in the afternoon. I was the point of contact and they, the teller contacted me, letting me know that they was able to go back and open the bank account. And at that point, the only thing that they, have, they had to do is to bring the money and go to the register to open the bank account. That was all to open the bank account at that moment, and they opened it at pesos bank account. So the only amount that they needed to open that bank account was 500 pesos, which is about $10. Because they wanted to open their bank account in dollars with another bank. They didn't want it to have two different banks, just in case. And they just opened the pesos that day. And that was, a, that was all. They came back next day, and they opened the bank account. And that was all. So a few, a few days after, they contacted me again because they want to open another bank account with another bank, this time in dollars. 
And the bank they, they wanted to open this was popular. So I say, okay, let me figure out what is the requirement that you need for Bank of Popular. And the requirements for Popular Bank are very long. They are, the requirements are things like bank statement uh, from your home country bank, letter from the bank, letter from um, somebody they know you here in Dominican Republic, letter from your job, and so many different type of letters uh, besides the tax record, two form of ID, what type of residency you have here in the country, and so many things. So at that point, when I sent to them the requirement, they decided that, they did say that that was like trying to apply for a job. And they decided they didn't want to go and open the bank account with Popular because it was too many requirements and too many letters that they, they needed to have. And all those letters needed to be translated to English too. So in, I mean, in English and in Spanish. So at that point they say, let's go back to the bank reservas and open the dollar account with them. So we went back to bank reservas and talked to the same representative about to opening the account now in dollars. I asked him if he would have go to the, through the same process, like be waiting three hours and then waiting until they call us. He said, no, at that point, you don't need to wait for that because you already have an account with them. But they, the only thing that they needed was they needed the passport again because they gonna, was gonna open another account. And it took about 15 minutes. She took passport 15 minutes, but they didn't approve it right away because they want to recheck against something. Sometimes they get approved right away. You just open the account. Sometimes they need a few hours. And we left that day too, and they called back in the same day in the afternoon that they were ready to, for them to go and open the bank account. And the amount that you need to open the dollars with bank reservas is $500. With $500, you open you bank account in dollars as well and that was all for banco reservas and opening the bank account in pesos and in dollars and i have another experience with banco santa cruz that my husband bank is santa cruz who went over there to open his bank account and the process was very simple you buy like bank reservas it was a bank statement to proof of, of id and that was all and the money at the amount to open the bank account in pesos was three thousand pesos for him to open his uh, account on pesos it was very simple they took all the information and then we left and they called us back in about two or three days for him to go back and open the bank account when everything was ready so these are my two experience open a bank account here as uh, with foreigners uh, which is banco santa cruz and bank reservas and this is all what i have for right now if you have any questions or you have any other experience with another bank you can leave a comment down here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.